U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner pleading guilty Thursday in a Russian court, but she says she didn't mean to commit a crime. The 31-year-old athlete was arrested at a Moscow airport in February when a search of her luggage allegedly revealed cannabis oil vape cartridges, something that's illegal in Russia. Griner told the court it ended up in her bag by mistake after she packed in a hurry. She said that it was unintentionally brought to to Russia. Griner's lawyers telling reporters they're hoping for the most lenient sentencing possible. But the two-time Olympic gold medalist who plays in Russia during the offseason could face up to 10 years in prison. The U.S. State Department says Griner has been wrongfully detained. Griner appealed to the U.S. president in a letter to push for her release, saying she's terrified she'll be held in Russia forever. The White House says Joe Biden called Griner's wife, who held a rally Wednesday, to assure her he's doing all he can. I'm frustrated that my wife is not going to get justice. There is speculation Griner's guilty plea may be part of a strategy to facilitate a prisoner swap between Washington and Moscow, aimed at bringing her and other Americans like Paul Whelan home. Griner's next court date is set for next week. Now, the backdrop to all of this, of course, is Russia's invasion of Ukraine and tensions with the West. An escalation on that front Thursday from some heated rhetoric from the Russian president. Vladimir Putin warns Russia is just getting started in Ukraine. And in a speech to parliamentary leaders, he says Ukraine should accept Moscow's terms quickly or brace for the worst. Melissa Duggan, City News.